What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, we're doing an amazing day. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Android 11 final beta GSI. So again, over here, again, it's supported from Pixel 2 by Irfan. And again, I hope all of you are happy and healthy. At least I'm not mentally. 100k this month, please. And let's just take a look at this Redmi Note 5 Pro. So again, I'm recording these videos after a while, to be honest. I took a break, so sorry for that. And then again, the stability over here is far more greater than before. Like there are pretty much no noticeable changes than the earlier beta that I reviewed. There are basically some of the smaller fixes and the Android 11 Easter egg has been finalized. Now it's not something special to be honest. At least for me, it's not completely working. But over here, as you can see, the UI and everything is just pretty much the same. And all the animations are just similar than what you get onto the beta 2. But as you can see, everything is very snappy. Again, if you just go to the left, there are a lot of optimizations for the web-based apps, like loading of things on the web-based stuff is just far more better. So let's just close all the apps right over here. And then let's just take a look at the Android 11 Easter egg. So directly going down to the settings app, just scroll down, pretty much everything is just the same about phone section. You have Android version 11, August 5 security patch, so latest and greatest. Again, this update has been released for almost one and a half days. And still, there are not major changes noticed right over here. But again, Google Play system patch, June 1. And then let's just take a look. Again, this is a Pixel experience vendor that I have been using for all of these reviews. So again, as you can see, there is this dial which you can actually just twist it for three times like this. And then it enables 11. And then if you just tap it or hold it, it should do something like enable a cat-like feature right over there but i guess i have already enabled it so let's just do that again so shit one two three there you go the cat has been enabled now this is very similar to something that we saw into the android nougat but just on steroids to be honest but now it doesn't come into the quick sentence panels at all you have to actually set up your google home and your smart home devices well i do not have anything like that like google assistant stuff i have actually set up the device and then again it also detects my tv sometimes right now i don't know there you go but still it just doesn't pop up for mine so basically once you set up that you will get device controls options right over here and then again you can feed the cat and stuff i guess you can even pet it and anything like give it treats and then it will send you notifications or bubble notifications of just random things yep it's like a one-year-old brain it just sends you anything and that's basically the story. Yep, it's pretty dumb to be honest. I hope they add some more to it like a game or something. But yeah, pretty much right now, it's just that. Again, coming down to the more options. Now, there is a support for multiple media players at once. So for example, let's just enable the Google Play Music. Like just play anything randomly right over here. And then let's just play something from Spotify. Like this already as you can see. Playing. So again, as you can see, you have the Spotify player right over there and the Google Play Music all at once. So again, it doesn't have multiple audio sources like MR12 and stuff, but yeah, you can control them at least. Now it's quite a bit broken. As you can see, it's just shuffling through all the music rather than just playing. Again, it's just a beta. But then again, you can just shuffle through them right over here or just completely dismiss it, which wasn't available before. So you get a completely clean notification panel, even if you just come back to it. But now if you just want a media player, it's always right over here. Then again, you can just go to the settings of it, which also again has hide player when media session has been ended. So for example, if you just end the media session, like completely exiting the app, it's still there. Yep. If you just want to continue your listening music, like for example, it works great for the music player. But as you can see, the Spotify has just completely gone, even though it was the one which was playing the music. Again, talking a bit more about the power menu, if you have the bug report completely on, you have a bit more tweaked UI for the power menu. Yeah bit more bigger buttons nothing new in that then again there are a bit more pixel 4 related options so nothing over here on the gsi side for us the gsi itself is very stable and the battery drain is much more better than before so yeah on the pixel 4 now you can force 90 hertz all the time and then again you have brand new emojis right over here now it's mostly a gboard thingy but yeah you do get newer emojis as you can see like this moon one then again few of the saturations just adjusted here and there and then again pretty much all the apps or even it's own Google apps do not have permissions for all the time options. So for example, if I just come to the Google Maps, I cannot allow permission all the time right through here. I have to manually go to the settings and do it. So you have the option for while in use or only this time, which is actually good because even for a person like me, I've been just doing all the time without even noticing what permissions I'm giving to a certain app. So even for the Google apps, now you can only allow for while in use. Same goes even for the Gcam, if you just completely reset the app right over here.
again as you can see even for an app you cannot allow it for all the time so yeah that's really weird but yeah guys that's pretty much it for the android 11 beta 3 review again there would be a beta 3.1 for the pixel 4 devices hopefully before the september early or the august end launch and that's pretty much it see you guys in the next one peace